Uh, we're here with Qualcomm with Leon. Um, he's going to show us a little bit about the new Qualcomm developer uh, phone the, with uh, the dual core, the Qualcomm Snapdragon dual core, they, as you can see right there, the MSM 8660. The soon to be available mobile development platform. Uh, Leon, take it away. Sure, yeah. So, uh, if you guys heard the news, we're coming out with our development platform. We launched the 8x55 version back in December, mm -hmm. and this is a prototype of what's to come in a couple of months uh, that's going to have our dual core chip in it, the 8660. Um, and as you know, Snapdragon uh, 8660, we got a dual core uh, CPU in there. We have a brand new GPU. So, I can show you guys some of our graphics um, demos and, and uh, how we take advantage of the new GPU, um, as well as obviously we have the video engine. We're capable of doing 1080p video. 2D and stereo 3D video as well. So let me start off by showing you guys a little um, cool thing with it. This is a fully functional um, 3D UI um, that, we're, that we have on top of Android. Uh, so the idea is, you know, the GPU, you can, uh, obviously gaming is a big deal, but you also can use the GPU for things other than, um, other than gaming. So this is a 3D UI. There's um, a lot of elements going on here, water depth going on. As you go down, you know, the light rays, kind of get into the sea depth monster. of the sea. And then we have a little sea monster that tries to bite your uh, finger. And he's coming. There. there he is. So, um, again, volumetric fog. You see the water blobs. Um, so it just shows you um, the, where we're going in terms of UI, in terms of uh, how you take advantage of GPU. is very smooth, and this can all be done on the Adreno 220. Um, another demo that we have for you, this is a, um, so, um, so the idea here is this was a console game, brought it to mobile, and the performance level is, is phenomenal. So, uh, you know, you can really have the kind of console quality graphics on your mobile device. Um, as a matter of fact, they turn around this game, and now it's available all on the Windows 7 phones. So you can go out and actually get a phone that has Evo Milo on it and play Xbox Live. So... Uh, let me play a little uh, demo for you, just to show you the level of graphics that is um, possible. Uh, this is running close to 60 frames per second on, on this device. So, give me some volume. Yeah, volume. So, just there's a lot of um, complex stuff going on, very rich environment. So, Get out of this one. And I talked about dual core, so I was going to show you guys a little dual core demo. Do you want to see maybe on the TV over there? Yeah. So we're going to mirror the UI over to the TV over there. So this is all possible through the HDMI output. On, on the um, on this device, so another cool thing, you know, future phones you can hook it up to your TV. Mm -hmm. um, could you could be playing your game on your TV? You could watch your videos. You could do a lot of cool things. Right. So um, here I'm going to show you. So what we've done here is um, we have basically three browser tabs going on here. Um, those two are um, a, a browsing experience. Mm -hmm. So you, you're scrolling up and down. There's lots of stuff going on on the page. And then this is a, a JavaScript. It's a WebGL. Um, so it's a rendering of uh, animated fish. Um, so And these are your frames per second with one core active. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn the second core on. Oh, wow. Much faster. So if you see the fish, it went from about 8 to 9 frames per second, close to some point I think we were touching 20 with the fish, and then the browser experience goes from 20, 30 frames per second to close to 60. Um, a lot of times we're seeing um, linear scaling in terms of performance. So with the second core on, we're able to double the performance, um, which is pretty impressive. I think you, especially as the browsing experience or, or just the mobile experience is getting richer, the second core is really going to be uh, making a big difference. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing, real quick about Snapdragon, 
is we're capable of doing what we call asynchronous clocking of the two cores. So for power reasons, we're capable of having one core running at, say, really fast clock to give you the full performance in, in the foreground. But at the same time, we can have the second core run at a lower clock to take care of your background tasks. And no other um, uh, player in the industry is capable of doing that. Because it's usually one core on, one core off, or both cores at Running at the, the same, same clock. Oh, yes. And then real quick, we wanted to show you some video demos. So this is mirror mode over HDMI. Mode. Okay. So I have a few clips. These are 1080p <coughs> uh, high, high bitrate videos. So running it, this one I think was encoded 18 megabits per second. So let's do that. Over. There we go. So that's 1080p. 1080p video. At 18 megabits per second. 18 megabits per second. Yeah. You not see bad. a lot of MS going on. This is all being processed on the device. Uh, it's not a Blu-ray player. It's your mobile phone. Mm -hmm. Looks good on the phone. Looks even better on the TV. We'll do. Uh, we're not, we'll do another clip for you guys. It's a also, this is a very high bitrate video. Okay, and uh, we also had the three D video. Did we did that for you? Yeah, guys we'll do as three, well. Yeah. So. Um, the the new the new uh, chip is capable of doing encoding as well as decoding mm -hmm. of 3D video. So you so could if you have, have the right phone with your the stereo. right phone with the stereo camera, uh -huh. you're going to be able to capture 3D content and then play it right and from play the, it right from your phone, which is what we'll show you right now. Look at the gazelle. This is going from straight China? from the yeah. HDMI oh. output to the TV. <gasps> Which I don't do. Almost feels the heat. Very cool. If only we had that, it was awesome. More stylish glasses. 